abiding fam and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. I'm so happy you're here today as we celebrate during this final bullet journal setup video for 2018, the month of December, and more importantly, the season of Advent and Christmas. I have some exciting spreads of this month, including a December bucket list and an advent calendar with working doors that you can open, so I hope you'll stay tuned with us throughout the entire video. I'll also be sharing some fun things I'm going to be doing over on my Patreon for the month of December as we celebrate this final month of 2018 and of course the coming of Christ. But first, let's make a cup of tea. So with a warm cup of holiday tea in hand, my twinkle lights filling the room with ambiance, and my warm cookies essential oils filling the room with a delightful smell, and of course, the company of my furry friend Carrie Jeannie, I was ready to open my bullet journal and begin planning. This month, I didn't want to do the typical candy canes and Santa that you see in a lot of bullet journal spreads at this time of year, but instead I wanted to go with a more classy winter feel, so I decided on a winter berries theme, while also bringing in different elements that will reflect the true reason for the Christmas season. This little bird here was my favorite element from the November Patreon printables that I created, and I was so happy to be able to use it for my December cover page. In fact, I loved it so much that I wanted all of my patrons to be able to have it, and so I did include it in my mini printable, which is on the $2 tier if you're interested. So I then used my Kokoro pen, which is my favorite brush lettering pen. It has a super hard nib, and you're able to fill it with your own ink, which is really nice. And I used that to brush letter December, and then on the right page, I used it to doodle little holly branches that are intersecting. I then went in with my Tombow Dual Brush Pens, and this is a new pack. This is the tropical one that I picked up on Black Friday, and I might have picked up another pack of Tombows as well for a certain giveaway that's going to be happening when I hit 10,000 subscribers. We are so close to 10,000, guys. I am so humbled and blessed. And it would be so amazing if we could hit that milestone before the new year. So I just want to encourage you to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if it's something you think they'd enjoy. Share it with your different groups and hopefully we can hit that goal, but it's all in God's timing. And speaking of being humbled, as you can see, I started doing some lettering and it got a little messed up. My flourishes just weren't right. And so I decided to cover that up with the sticker and do the quote instead at the bottom. So far at the bottom, in fact, that you couldn't see what I was doing because I was out of frame. So I do apologize for that, but I was essentially just doing some basic brush lettering you see me do all the time of Isaiah 9-6, which says, Unto us a child is born. I then went ahead and doodled a few more little holly leaves and berries around that quote just to tie it all together and colored them in with my tombos as well. And then as a finishing touch, I went in with my Jelly Roll white pen to just put little dots on all of the berries. At this point, I was ready to move on to my monthly spread and typically I would draw out a more elaborate calendar, but I really want the focus of this season to be on my family and just not so much about planning and getting things done. And so for this month, a really simple calendar layout will suit me just fine. And so what I did is I just drew once again the little berry branches down the side vertically, and then along that same line, I wrote the days of the month, 1 through 31. And at the very bottom, I wrote next year in case there's any upcoming things I want to put in my calendar, but aren't yet happening in December. So I filled in the few things I know are happening, which was basically Christmas and New Year's Eve, and then decided to move on to some more decorations once again with those winter berries. And I don't do this often, but I love the look of a doodle that crosses two pages and is at the center of 
the pages and so I wanted to use that technique I guess you could call it or that style and do the winter berries across the two pages at the top and I really liked the way that turned out and on that right page it's going to be my December bucket list because there is a lot that I want to do not so much in terms of things I want to accomplish but just fun things I want to do to celebrate the season and enjoy quality time with the people I love. Let me know down in the comments what is on your December bucket list. Are there family traditions that you do every year or what has to happen for it to finally feel like Christmas in your house? For me, one of those things is baking cookies or going to get a tree, decorating the house and just hanging up our lights and putting the ornaments on our Christmas tree we always do as a family and it's a really special time. This year, Ben and I are also planning on reading a Christmas carol together, and so that's always just a really sweet quality thing we can do together is sit and spend time just reading to each other from a favorite book. I also want to try and make eggnog this year for the first time, so that's something new that could become a tradition. And so I always love hearing from you, so just let me know in the comments what are some old traditions you always do, and what are some new things you plan on trying this year? So this month, there is always one collection spread that I have to make, and that is my gift ideas spread. I really love having a place to organize my ideas for gifts and also just keep track of the gifts I get for people, especially because Sometimes I'm getting gifts throughout the year and I forget what I got and then get more and it makes it a little hard to stay on budget. For this entry, I'm actually using gift tags to categorize the different groups of people that I'm giving gifts to this year. And yes, Ben, my fiance, has his own category because he's usually the person I'm giving the most gifts to. And gift giving is definitely my love language, so he's pretty much just accepted that I can't control myself this time of year and that's okay. And then under each of those categories I just have my budget and my total. And as you can see I used gift tags and those gift tags are going to be where I write the gifts and the nice thing about that is it keeps it hidden so if anybody happened to open my journal they wouldn't see the gifts that I'm planning on giving. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, one of my main focuses for this month is to just recenter my heart on the true reason for the season. And what better way to do that than through an advent reading plan? Now, I didn't want to just write down the reading plan, but instead I had to make it fun and interactive. So I decided to make a real advent calendar in my bullet journal. To do this, I drew out 25 little presents in varying sizes, and I always made sure to leave one space in terms of the dot grid between each of the presents going horizontally, and then the highest present, or the tallest present, and the top line, there was always two spaces, so that it still had a uniform look. Then I went in with my X-Acto knife and just cut out the two sides and the bottom of the present so that the top still connected it to the page. Of course I went in and wrote Advent on it and then drew in some more little berries to pull it all together. Now many of us are probably familiar with Advent calendars in terms of the ones we see in stores that have little cheap chocolates inside or little toys for our kids. but. In this, we can sometimes forget what Advent actually means, and that is the arrival of a notable person, thing, or event. It is this time leading up to Christmas in which we celebrate that arrival, the arrival of Jesus. And so, while sadly there is no way to fill my Advent calendar with chocolates, I plan to fill it with something much more nourishing, and that is scripture. To refresh my heart in the gospel before the new year, 
I am going to be following along with Living Free in Deeds Advent Reading Plan, and I'm going to be doing this over on my Patreon with daily posts reflecting on the various scriptures that we're reading together, and I'd love for you to join us in that. It's going to be available to everybody who is a patron, so as little as $2, you can join us and take part in just reminding ourselves of this important, beautiful season, and just enjoying discussion and living in an abiding community together with other women interested in living out an abiding life as well. So with that said, I hope you'll join us, and I will have it linked down below, and I'll also have the scripture reading plan linked for you as well if you would like to do it just on your own. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment, and as I said, we are very close to 10k, so I'd love for you to join our abiding family today. Thank you so much to my patrons for making it possible for me to create videos throughout this year for you all. It's been such a blessing in my life. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your year and abide in Him this Christmas season. I love you all. Thanks so much.